We're off to a cold start with temperatures uh, running well below normal for this time of day. In fact, it's 39 degrees currently in Salt Lake City, mid-20s in Park City, right at 20 in Rock Springs, uh, just a little bit above that in Cedar City where it's currently 25. So a lot of you need the winter coat again when you head out the door. Otherwise, we've got fair skies across much of the state, but a few snow showers coming down over the mountains and uh, even a little bit of rain and snow uh, just south of the Great Salt Lake moving into Davis and northern Salt Lake counties. A uh, little bit of lake enhancement there. So uh, that is a possibility this morning, even though the main part of our storm that's moving in today will slide in from the northwest uh, later this morning into the afternoon, make its way out of here. But by tomorrow, we'll get a stronger system dropping in from the northwest as well that'll bring a better chance of snow. Today's weak storm still might bring a possibility of two to five inches to the Wasatch Mountains and inch or two in some of the higher valleys. If we get anything down in the lower valleys, it would mainly be a trace on grassy surfaces. Otherwise, our temperature in Salt Lake will climb to 49 this afternoon. We're still running well below normal for this time of year. It'll be in the low to mid 50s in a lot of the central valleys, 71 in St. George in general. Partly cloudy in the north with a chance of snow showers during the day, tapering off this evening, and then mostly sunny in the south. <coughs> Excuse me, a big warm up in St. George's early as tomorrow. You'll make it near 80, however, pretty close to that through the weekend. And in northern Utah, well, valley rain, mountain snow will become even more likely tomorrow with that storm moving through. But by the weekend, we'll be drying out. Partly cloudy and getting a lot warmer with a high in the mid 60s by Sunday.